She's been a council member for nearly eight years and vice mayor for two. Now Jackie Robinson says she's ready to be the mayor of Pasadena. Thanks for joining us, Ma Mayor uh, Jackie. Sorry. We oh, wow, Mayor. mayor. Maybe you should yeah. yeah. <laughs> So why, why mayor? You've done the vice mayor thing. Uh, why take on the challenge? Well, I just feel like this was a really port important election. Um, and I feel like Pasadenans needed to have a choice. At the point in time when I made my decision, there were not very many candidates, and Pasadena is a very diverse city. And I just felt like it was critical to have for Pasadena to have a real conversation about where Pasadena has been and where we're going. Tell me who's endorsing you, who's backing you? Well, I'm um, very proud to be endorsed by the Los Angeles County Democratic Party the National Women's Political Caucus of Greater Pasadena, as well as the other day I just received the endorsement of the working families of the Los Angeles County Fed. So I have a very diverse coalition of organizations and individuals that are supporting my campaign. So where are we going with Pasadena? Obviously right now, you know, this embezzlement scandal has hit us. Um, what's next? Where do we go from here? Yes, I mean, the embezzlement crisis that we find ourselves in right now is definitely a huge blow to the city and something that I'm as the current council member and vice mayor is am committed to getting down to the bottom of the city council is um, methodically um, addressing the issue um, but for the future of Pasadena I'm running because I want Pasadena to be the most progressive and uh, innovative city of the 21st century and I believe we can do that um, we have a lot of history and culture and we've had a lot of successes in the past but we definitely can't rest on our laurels and so we have to do a lot of things to bring back our local economy make sure that people feel safe in their neighborhoods and just make sure that all of Pasadena sees themselves and are receiving great quality um, services and that is a partnership with our businesses our residents our city employees and as mayor and as current vice mayor and city council member I feel like I have a great collaboration. Okay. Um, Speaking of the safety issue because I was uh, you know interested in this uh, mayor's state of the city address he talked about having a community task force for finance yes. um, you know to kind of combat some of the things that's been happening with them embezzlement but there's been such a fight with the city council on uh, the civilian oversight of the police why have a task force for finance and not police? Well, uh, at this point in time, there hasn't been a consensus among the council to that uh, a task of citizen oversight, uh, for lack of a better term, um, is necessary. We do currently have the city council and the um, public safety committee, as well as the city manager and chief of police. Um, there's definitely a place in Pasadena for citizen input, and we are a city known for citizen input. So. Um, I have always said maintain the position that I'm open to you know continuing to have a, the, the discussion but I think we all have to remember that the City Council is not just me as an individual it's five, you know eight council members and we do you push for votes. the civilian oversight I have said that I'm supportive of continuing to have the discussion and that you know there's definitely place and reinstating the former citizen advisory um, committee that was working directly with the police chief. Even some of the mental health issues and, and how the police have to deal with those things. Are we looking more into how we're training our police or how we're collaborating with the public? The police department has ongoing training and again you know there's multiple venues for the public to get involved with the police department. We have our citizen um, Citizen Police Academy, which I've been through, several council members have been through, and it's a, a free program where uh, citizens get a taste of every single portion of the police department and have an opportunity to see how they operate, why they operate, and um, things they do in the community other than just traditional policing. Okay. Thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah, you've been out in the community a lot, and they, they know you, so best of luck for you. Thank um, you. Absolutely. If you want to find out more information about Jackie Robinson, you can check out our website, JackieRobinsonThenumber4Mayor.com. Uh, but we'll have you on again. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Well, the measles outbreak at Disneyland showed us just how quickly a contagious disease can spread. So why are more parents choosing not to vaccinate their kids? Dr. Michelle Meyer tells us the psychology behind those who vaccinate and those who don't. Next.